So it's a little lineup. You just want to set them up. Best place to start is the original. That's just how I did it. I just put the bolts through. I'm going to tighten these down now. Okay. So this is the Hotch Hotchkiss rear end bushing removal tool and insulation tool. Just put it through. There's a large washer on that side. Once it gets to that point where that bottoms out, I can't really focus in here. You can see it. Then you got to switch to the smaller bushing or washer so you can get it the rest of the way out. Way easier than hammering the shell and all this using a drill, and especially when I'm under the car. So, get back to it. Okay, side note. So, this one came out fine because it doesn't have anything over here, but this one has that housing right there. So the big washer does not fit. You have to just use a small one and be careful, like don't lollygag, do that shit quick as you can because if that goes in there and distorts this, you're fucking screwed. So yeah, well, I didn't do that. Well, luckily I just used a small one, it worked out. Just used a bunch of WD-40 and got to clean up these uh, little housings. And then push the other ones in. Hopefully it went as fast as that. That was like five minutes, even with the hiccup. So, and the instructions might have told me to do that. I, I don't know. I didn't look at them. So, <laughs> all right, back to. Okay. So the tool worked fine to get it back in. The housings are just barely holding on. This one you don't have to cut. Just push in. But the other one on the other side, you will have to cut. Let's see if I can find it. Ooh. It's around here somewhere. I don't know, I'll show you when I get it. Alright, you see how that's barely there? Barely holding on? Yeah, fun. I use the open end. I just used the impact. If I broke the rod, I'd go get another one, but I didn't. So, both in. Back to work. Okay. So they're in. This one, you have to. You see how that bottom piece is trimmed? I cut it a little much, doesn't matter, it's just like a, basically a washer. So, and it'll bottom out, so you don't really have to worry about going too much. And that's the other one. Same spiel. Oh, time to get back to it. Okay. So they're in. Make sure you lube your poly side of your bushings because they will squeak, which I've learned the hard way. Motor joints. I say the hardest part is because I took them all out and then put them all in. If you're going to switch them, I do one at a time, like the instructions say, but I pull them all out. Anyways, and then these bars, those support bars, I don't think they come on a Chevelle. I got them off of Monte Carlo. Um, I had to oblong out one of the holes, which has already got a little oblong on it. Because the half inch bolt wouldn't fit in there. Got the same one over here. Yeah. Oh, it's in. Got to bolt the shocks up. Suspension on, which will be changed in the future, but. I had the lower ones and I had some Jags upper ones and the Jags ones didn't have the bushings up here see how that's like a one piece rotor joint that little silver sleeve on the Jags one doesn't come with it and I didn't get them when I had got the kit so I didn't want to have to go to a machine shop and have them like cut me the right size I have the measurements for them but I just didn't feel like dealing with it Came out really good though. Can we get back to it? 